Jasco, Jasco, Jasco. You know, your subs are really worried about you. They reached out to me to see if I could help you, and that I shall, because I have some important information for you. And, you know, to start off with something super positive, you're a medium. Did you know that? If you didn't know that you're a medium, surprise, you know now. And guess what? You're clairvoyant. So, let's talk about it. <laughs> So let's start out by saying you have some amazing subs because they are worried about you and they reached out to me to see if I can help you with attachment issues and I can and so I'm going to be relaying messages from spirit and all the information that I channeled in for you so guys help him see this video share it to him as much as possible get him on this video because spirit has a lot to say and it's going to help him mentally physically and spiritually so let's crack into it first things first jasco you do have an attachment okay and the best way to describe it is it is a type of thought form entity which is an entity that is comprised up of negative energy. And what happens is when there's so much negative energy, it starts consolidating into one thing and sometimes it can create its own consciousness or it creates an entity without a consciousness. This one has a consciousness and it's very shape shifty and just very, it's, it's not great, but on the plus side, it shall be easier to get rid of. And I'll show you a picture of one of its forms. You're gonna laugh because it looks like a stereotypical cartoon ghost. It's little on my paper. But right here, ah, wait, there we go. I know, I'm sorry. Those are my notes, by the way. Sorry. I took notes, by the way, as I do for all my channels because when I channel, I forget shit, and it's always best to write it down so I don't forget anything. But here's the thing. You're not cleansing yourself either enough or properly. I don't know what you're doing. Listen, I'm going to be real. I honestly didn't know anything about you. I didn't know about your channel or anything until, you know, your subs came to me and were like, hey, help Jasco, help Jasco. And I was like, who's Jasco? And then I watched a few like minutes of a video of one of your recent videos because I don't need all that information to get connected and get information. Plus, you know, I don't want any information to like, I don't want to say sabotage, but get in the way. And then it's my brain battling with spirit. And then I sometimes can't tell the difference, which is which and where I'm getting the inter information from. So it's just better for me not to know anything anyway. So hopefully that makes sense. But, so, they were pointing out to me that you're not cleansing yourself enough. Even your subs noticed that. So, you know, I can't say technically take credit for that. You're also not grounding yourself enough. Um, Spirit did mention that, you know, you're going into a lot of older buildings and you should wear a mask. Now, I don't remember if anyone else said that in the comments. So, again, I'm not going to take credit for that because I don't remember. Um, also, you need to be cleansing your equipment after your investigations. So that includes your phone, your cameras, your spirit boxes, anything you use, REM pods, and your investigations, you gotta cleanse at every, after every um, investigation. So your attachment is within your auric field. When I was watching that one video, I saw it immediately. It's kind of like standing behind you, almost like a shadow but so let's say you're here, it's like right behind you, but it's in your auric field. It's, it's weird, but it comes across as that weird 
energy thing that looks like it's stereotypical like cartoon ghost that's its kind of main form however it does shape shift into a bunch of different things now because it's from negative energy it's going to be able to shape shift into the fractals and into you know the points of origin of where those fractals came from so whether that be like other entities other people you name it it can do that it is very deceptive and it knows that it can trick you through shape-shifting. I did notice that it tried to uh, intimidate me by turning into something like skeletal and creepy, but I was just like, yo, I know your game. I'm not, I'm not afraid. I did notice that you have some blue in your aura and you have some gray in your aura. That thing is making your aura gray. And a lot of times when somebody has a gray aura, that tells me that a few things. You've got some blocked chakras and or you've got some illness in your body or both. Typically, when someone has a lot of blue in their aura, that tells me there's something going on with the throat chakra and feel that you might have an imbalance in your throat chakra, which can lead to anxiety, fear of judgment, and so on and so forth. Now, I was picking up stomach issues. I was picking up like nausea or something going on in the stomach, which tells me there's something going on in your solar plexus, or at least the chakras in your stomach area. I did get head pain and I thought, okay, well, what if that's just me because the weather's changing and whatnot? So what I would do is I would channel, then I would get the headache every time I thought of you, right? And then I would take a break and then do something else. Then I would pick it back up, headache came back. And I did this like three different times and I was like, okay, it has to be him then. Same thing with the stomach issues. I started feeling nausea every time I would start picking back up to channel. Um, I don't know if this is true or not, but I kept getting in my head potential dust allergy. And if you're not wearing masks in old buildings, that could make it worse. But... I don't know, that kind of came out of the blue. I don't know if that's true or not. There's something going on with that. Could also give you the headaches. Um, I suspect and feel that you are feeling drained and tired and either you're not getting a good night's rest. I feel like you're not sleeping either properly, but it's like in combination to being drained. Um, the attachment is an energy vampire, which means it's sucking you dry. Uh, Spirit told me to, if you're drinking those energy drinks, to knock it off or to lay off them a little bit. They pointed out a lot about, like, um, junk food or, uh, drinks or something that wasn't good for you. And they want you to, you know, do less of that, especially when you're on the road, which I know is hard because you're on the road. This entity is parasitic. Oh, so when I was meditating today, which is the 13th, oh, it's Friday the 13th now. Um, so I was able to meet you on the astral realm. You probably don't know or remember. A lot of times people don't remember. Sometimes they do. But I do remember meeting you on the astral realm and you seemed very nice and kind and very well mannered. And I remember like talking to you and you know, kind of, I don't know exactly what we were doing. It was like we were going to an event. It was like some radio thing. And I don't know, we had to bring something to the host. It was weird. It made no sense. But it gave me time to get to know you on the astral realm to see the kind of person you are. So take that information how you will. If you believe me, cool. If you don't, eh, it is what it is. Um. Also, it seems like you're becoming more aware of things. So... With that being said, that means you're going to attract more negative energy, more negative entities, because the more you become aware, the more entities are going to try to either mess with you or earthbound spirit wise, they're going to try to communicate with you. And you might notice that when you go on investigations, a lot of activity might happen around you more than others. Are you noticing shadows more often, either on investigations or, you know, by yourself when you're, like, away from investigations and you're on a break or you're at home or you're doing something on your own and you're seeing things that kind of seem like hallucinations, but 
you are pretty much dismissing them saying that, oh, it's just a figment of my imagination. Nope, that is your clairvoyant ability. And you have a lot of potential to, you know, strengthen that. If you don't want to, you don't have to. But I feel like you have high potential when it comes to clairvoyant abilities. And I think they're starting to, uh, you know, manifest. I also picked up, as a part of your attachment, a spirit spouse. And so sometimes when we feel like we're lacking something, something negative, we'll try to exploit that. And that's what this is in this case. And it's doing things to get your attention, but it's trying to scare the shit out of you so it can feed a negative reaction from you to produce more negative energy so it can feed off of you. It's pretty much doing that to feed off of you. Out of curiosity, now I didn't pick anything specific up about this, but this is me asking like, when you go to sleep, do you feel a weight next to you on the bed or wherever you're sleeping? Like, do you feel like anything is shifting? If not, that's good. But I'm just curious about that. This thing, yeah, is absorbing a lot of negative energy and you're holding a lot of negative energy in your body because you're not cleansing yourself. And yeah, now with my own deck, my Demonolator card popped up. So this could mean one of several things. Either you work with negative entities or demonic entities, which I don't think you do, but maybe you did a ritual, I don't know, something in a video for views or whatever, I don't know. Because like I said, I, don't, I haven't watched your content other than a few minutes of like your most recent video. The other thing is it could be somebody you know, but I suspect that if you are working with something negative, you might not even be aware that it's negative because of how deceptive it is. It could be coming across as something nice and you think you're working with something benevolent, but it's not anything benevolent. Or it could just be, you know, somebody else you know. I did get this as part of your soul lesson plan to grow. And, you know, once you cleanse this stuff out, and if you decide to work on your mediumship skills, um, you're going to soar. But part of your soul lesson plan for this life is going through the attachment, learning how to discern good spirits from bad spirits, learning about the spiritual aspect of yourself and what you are capable of, in addition to protection and grounding yourself. Because it's feeding on your energy and causing and attracting negative energy, it's wearing down your psychic shield and defenses, which is allowing more negative things to get at you. So if you're noticing dizzy spells or um, headaches, stabbing pains, those are forms of a psychic attack. Also nightmares, and it's kind of like you're being fed images that are grotesque. That's another form of psychic attack. During investigations, like I said, if you, if you are the person in the group that's getting attacked more than anybody else, that's why. Because it's easier to get at you. Because your psychic shield and defenses are not 100% right now. Because of the attachment feeding off of you. And you might even have this happen when you're not on investigations. So it is attracted to your vibration. I always say to every single client of mine, negative attachments, negative entities like to feed off of past traumas. So it's always important when dealing with attachments and hauntings that you work on traumas first. Okay? So you can, you know, get rid of the stronghold they have on you, get rid of the anchor, get rid of the source of food because what it does is it rubs salt into the wounds and it triggers you. And if you're somebody that feels like you lack something and are self-conscious about something, it is going to feed off of that. And it's going to keep you down in that vibration by convincing you of that thing. Now there's a lot of other things that I wanna to talk to you about but it's private stuff and I don't want the public to know about it because I know that you have a private aspect of your life that you don't want people to know about. So I'm not going to talk about it because first of all, that ain't fucking cool. And I respect that. 
But there's some other things I do want to talk to you about that I cannot mention in this video. But in the meantime, to help yourself with the attachment stuff, first work on the traumas, okay? Work on self, like positive affirmations, build up your vibration and self-esteem. That is really good. Holy oil on your chakras, every single chakra, it'll block the negative stuff from messing with them. And also because your solar plexus is blocked, you need to uh, cleanse that. Reiki things help when it comes to that. You are a fire sign. I feel like burning sage and things will help you. Being out in the sunlight will help you as well. And being out in nature will help you. I always make the joke when I tell people, I always say, go touch a tree. That's for real though. Like you need to work on grounding. And when you do this, go to your tree, make sure it's an alive tree. And when you touch the tree, visualize putting everything negative into that tree and then bringing up the positive energy from the ground to your body and then kind of creating like this, I don't know what you want to call it, this circle or this flow so it can flush out all the negative energy. That'll help you. Meditation would be really good for you. And you're going to want to do routine cleansings of yourself, your equipment, and your space. So because you are clairvoyant and you are a medium, this is something that you need to be doing for the rest of your life. Whether you're doing investigations or not, you should be starting off with a week. Every week you need to do this and then you can probably move to bi-weekly and if you get confident enough, you can go to once a month. You also have to give your guides permission to cut the cords from the attachment and to help cleanse your body. Oh, crystals. I would recommend getting either clear quartz, rose quartz, um, or both, and or get yourself some black obsidian and black tourmaline. And get your rose quartz or your clear quartz and meditate with them. And you can focus you know, putting that negative energy in those crystals. You just gotta make sure you charge them at every full moon and whatnot. You can also cleanse them with smoke. You are a fire sign, so smoke I feel like would help you. To cleanse yourself, you can use Palo Santo. You can use sage and Palo Santo. When you cleanse your space, you need both because you're gonna put the positive energy back in once you make the void in energy with the sage. So that's why you need the Palo Santo. You can use holy water too if you want. Oh, if you are able to, I know because you're on the road it might be hard. Um, cleansing baths would help you tremendously. You can get like an herbal mix and put it in bathtub water and just sit in there and again focus that negative energy out into that water and or if you don't have a bathtub and you're like, you know, don't have anything, any supplies, and you're shorthanded on things, ice will work as well. The other thing you can do is go to a Reiki healer if you are unsure of doing it yourself. You can go to a Reiki healer and they'll help you with those blockages. It's very important that you unblock that because when you have blocked chakras, it puts your whole body out of whack. And it also kind of messes up with your spiritual defenses and you don't want that. And let me see. The solar plexus does control self-esteem things. If you have any type of fear for paranormal stuff, get that out of your head right now. Because again, when you have a negative emotion or response, it creates negative energy and it creates a food source for things and you don't want that. Not to mention, you know, once you get yourself right and you get yourself protected, you're gonna be so confident, you ain't gonna be scared anyway. Let's talk about your mediumship skills because I'm sure like that's that's exciting. I mean, it would be to me, but so you are clairvoyant, you are a fire sign, so you are clairvoyant, but not just because you're a fire sign, there's other things involved when it comes to that. So I'm gonna tell you how you can train and hone that skill quickly. So I did make a clairvoyance video. You can watch that if you have any questions. But guided meditation that focuses on 
Visualization techniques will help you. Making yourself more observant. So with that being said, start paying attention to more things in the physical and expose yourself to more cultures and scenery. Why is that important? Because not only does it give your spirit guides and spirit more references to use for you that you'll understand, but it'll help you with, you know, um, with seeing certain images. So what you can do is you can sit in an area, take everything in, close your eyes, and then try to recreate it with your eyes closed and see how much you get right. It's a good thing. That's also a good technique for learning how to astral project as well. And you do astral project because I was able to connect with you on the astral realm so easily. And a lot of times when people are clairvoyant, they do have that ability. Not always, but a lot of times they do. So it's important to understand the expectations versus reality. So the thing is, a lot of times, I would say most often times, you're not gonna see things with your physical eyeballs. That's not how it is. Most of the time, mediums that are clairvoyant will see images imprinted into their brain. The other way to explain it is if you visualize something, right, and you can visualize an image. So let's say you try to visualize an apple, right? Well, with clairvoyance, you can see that apple, but it's not you projecting that image into your head or thinking about it. It's spirit communicating using that image. It's also very important that you start building a connection with spirit and or your spirit guides. Spirit is there 24 seven. They're like a hotline. <laughs> so throughout the day, reach out to your spirit guides by, you can say hello, or you can say like how grateful you are or showing, you know, your appreciation. Um, when you do this, you're beginning to raise your vibration actually. And when you do this, you're raising your frequency to meet theirs. So you're fine tuning yourself like a radio so you can meet their frequency. That is the goal there. And start taking care of yourself, mentally, physically, spiritually. So stop eating garbage. Like I said, I know it's difficult, especially if you're on the road often, but they, they made that a point, eat better. And they want you to take more time in between investigations. I know as a creator, and let's let's be honest, I'm not a huge creator. Like, I don't have that many subscribers. I'm grateful for the subscribers that I have, but you know, I don't have as many as you do. And so I understand that the pressure is on. You gotta make sure you got your content because you're making a living off of YouTube, plus whatever else you're doing, right? So I understand the need for content. Hell, I'm doing 31 videos in 31 days and I'm dying, so I get it, okay? I understand, but for your health, it is important that you take a break because you need to be able to release that negative energy because if you keep it all in your body, you're gonna make yourself sick. Physically, mentally, spiritually, you're gonna be sick if you're not already. You might be feeling worn down, already and that's because you're not taking enough breaks. Your main goal, you need to fill yourself up with as much positive energy as possible. So visiting family members and loved ones, taking the time to be in nature, meditation is key. Honestly, that is the most important thing. When you're sensitive in any way or you're a medium or you're psychic or whatever, Meditation is so important because not only does it raise your vibration, but it helps you connect to benevolent beings. It helps you health-wise. There's so many health benefits in all aspects of health. It helps you develop your abilities. Like there's so many positives about meditation. So yeah, but as far as that, Jasco, we just gotta get you cleansed. And once you get those energy cords, you know, broken, you're gonna be, you're gonna be feeling like a new dude. I'm, I'm serious. You're gonna feel so much better. But please guys, help me share this to him. And if you do see this Jasco, just know like if you need help, you can message me on Instagram. You can DM me, keep it private. We don't have to share it, you know, I'm all about helping people. I don't care about the views. I could give two shits about the views. 
the whole point of my channel is to help people in this kind of area with attachments, with hauntings. That's all I want to do. That is my purpose in life. Seriously. Well, one of my purposes. But anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully this helped y'all in some way, shape, or form. But if you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them down below. I will leave a list of supplies and like links and stuff. But for real, I have no affiliates to anything. So I don't get anything back. Just in case people get nervous about that. But anyway, peace out. If you guys like these types of videos, I highly recommend checking out the video I made for Colby Brock where I relayed a message from Spirit regarding his attachment.